All right, a sample of nitrogen gas kept in a container of volume 2.3 liters and at a temperature of 32 degrees Celsius exerts a pressure of 4.7 atmospheres. Calculate the number of moles of gas present. Okay, so the problem said we have gas with a volume of 2.3 liters. Let's write that down. We also got that the temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. So we got a temperature, 32 degrees Celsius, and then also a pressure of 4.7 atmospheres. So P for pressure, 4.7 atmospheres. And they want moles. So moles is represented by little n. So they want moles. That's what we're trying to solve. So what kind of problem is this? This is an ideal gas law problem because the ideal gas law, otherwise known as Pivnert, is PV equals NRT. And we have three of those variables given to us. We're going to solve for one and R, the only one we don't have, that is a constant, the universal gas constant. So we will pick that one at some point. Okay, so let's manipulate this equation for what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to solve for N or moles. So on both sides of the equation, we're going to divide by RT. And that makes it so that on the right side, where we're just trying to have N by itself, R is gonna cancel out and T is gonna cancel out because they are on top and on bottom of that fraction. Okay, now let's plug in everything we know in the left side. So P is 4.7 atmospheres, and we're going to multiply that by V, 2.3 liters. Okay, and that is going to be all over RT. Now, what do we do for R? So there's actually three or more possible R values. They normally depend on your pressure. So in orange, I have atmospheres here, KPA here, and millimeters of mercury here. We're gonna pick the one that correlates to the same pressure units that we're using in our problem. So we are using atmospheres, we're using ATM. So we are going to pick the universal gas constant, the R value, with atmospheres in the units. So that all is gonna go on the bottom for R. So 0 0.08206, and then all those units, liter atmospheres per Kelvin mole. That all goes in for R. And if we did it right, all of our units should cancel out in the end except for the one we want, so we'll check that in a little bit. T is our last variable we have to fill in for. Now we can't use Celsius, so we have to add 273 to convert our Celsius to Kelvin. It has to be in Kelvin, so that's gonna be 305 Kelvin. That's what we will put down here in for T. Okay, and all of that, again, equals N, equals moles. So let's see if our units cancel out. We have atmospheres on top, atmospheres on bottom. We have liters on top and liters on bottom. And then since this Kelvin mole is on the bottom of the bottom of the fraction, it's kind of like it's on top. So Kelvin will actually cancel with Kelvin and we will be left with moles. So our units cancel out, that looks good. Now let's put this in our calculator to get our answer. 4.7 times 2.3 divided by everything that's on the bottom. So let's open parentheses 0 0.08206 and that's multiplied by 305. Close parentheses and we hit equals we get around 0 0.4319, let's round that to 0 0.43, and again, our units are moles. 
So calculate the number of moles of gas present in this problem. That would be right around 0 0.43 moles. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.